Cancer, welcome back to Shacey Tarot. For those of you returning, for those of you brand new, welcome to our channel. Thank you for being here. All right, let's see what messages we have for you today. Just a reminder that I will be on vacation as of Tuesday. So I will be gone. Ooh, months of the year popped out for you guys. So I won't be doing any personal readings uh, until after that, but that'll you'll see that on the calendar if you go into the calendar at shacy.com Anyhow, I invite you to go check out shacy.com for those of you that are brand new you can check out the reviews there I thank you so much for those beautiful reviews. It means so much to me We're gonna go ahead and start out with pick a card with the fortune guidance messages here Let's see what's going on. This may resonate from your perspective or whoever you're dealing with it could be a family member a friend a crush a lover Somebody you haven't met yet somebody coming into your future. That's why we're here So it may resonate for you now in the future okay so let's get started don't forget to hit the like button subscribe and the notification bell it's absolutely free it allow you to check out future readings as well as get in on the different polls I sometimes put on the community page I'd love to see you on Facebook Instagram let's get started all that information is in the description box if this resonates for you you can definitely check out the extended which will be in the description box as well as in the comment section pinned there okay it's a lot um, less expensive than a personal reading, but if this resonates for you, I dig a lot deeper. So I'll get into that more in a minute. I know we're anxious, so we start out with club. Ouch, that looks a little bit painful. <laughs> Someone will try to make you do something against your will. So be aware that there could be somebody around you that tries to convince you to do something. So spirit saying, have your guard up a little bit right now, just in case for some of you. Now that could be in the future. This may not have happened yet. Remember that, okay? Definitely check your moon rising Venus signs as well. They're in the playlist area because I definitely, I have my moon in cancer. So sometimes these readings resonate for me as well. So yeah, let's check it out. Months of the year. Ooh, okay, September, not that far away. Something may occur for you here in, Septem in September that's significant for you. Hopefully it's not this person trying to do make you do something against your will. So just that's something to be aware of. Um, but that's not necessarily what spirit is saying. There is something in September. It could be anything. It could be that uh, you're going to go to a wedding or become engaged or go on vacation or plan something or you receive a windfall of money or, you know, a friend comes to see you unexpectedly. It could be anything, right? It could be a new job. Let's see what's going on. Dog protection from a powerful friend. Okay, so maybe somebody that, you know, is a good friend of yours here will come to protect you when somebody's trying to make you do something against your will here. Um, and you know, this friend here is I'm getting here. It could be a male. I don't know why I'm, I'm getting the feeling for many of you. It could be a male friend that just looks out for some of you here. It could be, uh, but it's just something to be wary of. It could be anybody, but this person is protectful. Uh, like a, like a big, big dog here, you know, protects their, protects their backyard or, their person here it's like you're you know they're looking over you here is what I'm getting beautiful we're gonna get your overall energy using the call it Ben read and don't go away stay until the end because we're gonna dig I'm gonna get your energy here mutual energies between you and whoever you're dealing with here and their energy here can crisscross over be a mixture of both of yours uh, all of theirs or all of yours generally speaking though I find that I pick up the other person's energy more than our own so just something to be wary of you will know and it, of course it depends who's watching this reading right I get a lot of cross watchers I get a lot of people watching for you know their other um, placements as well well wow, that just came flying out for you that was meant Ooh, ten of fire so you're feeling like I'm at the end of my rope I have so much so many different little you know that show little fires everywhere this is just what that reminds me of you feel like you've got a few little fires here to put out everywhere and I feel like you're getting kind of overwhelmed or at least in the recent past you were so you might be, you know, I'm at the end of my rope. I just want something new. I'm tired of this same old cycle. This is spirit saying that that cycle in the recent past has ended for you. You could be dealing with a Taurus Capricorn Virgo here. Queen of Pentacles is somebody who is, you know, uh, very well established, very resourceful, practical, very traditional in nature here likes their ducks in a row um, money coins stability is extremely important to this person it could be a female or male it's not gender specific but the queen of pentacles is somebody for me who's usually in a marriage but it's somebody that's like feeling like i've had enough of this i've got too much to do too many responsibilities i feel like i'm putting out fires everywhere here and i'm just overwhelmed here okay so now we've got wow they're just flying out here queen of swords here 
So I feel like there could be an either an air sign, an earth sign in your life here, or this is somebody that is coming off very cold. The queen of swords has been hurt before. You know, uh, your person, if you're dealing with somebody, may look at you as their queen of swords here. Maybe they feel like you're at the end of your rope here, okay? Or you're dealing with an air sign or somebody has a lot of air in their chart. This could be the same person. We're gonna keep digging, wow. Ace of water, okay, this is overflowing love here. This is an offer that comes from buddy, somebody that, it's a blessing from the universe. It's like, here's my cup of love here. I love you here. But it's interesting because this could be from you to them, to your person here, or I, you have a new beginning here in love. Let's put it that way. It's an offer coming in towards you here. Let's see what's going on. Let's clarify the ace of water. Why is it here? Okay, wow. Ten of Pentacles here. I want to keep going, Cancer, before I say anything. Why is Ten of Pentacles? What's the significance of the Ten of Pentacles? Emperor, wow. Okay, definitely could be dealing with a Terry, uh, Terry, Taurus or an Aries here. This person's doing a lot of thinking. They may look at you as their Queen of Pentacles, somebody they can have long-term commitment with here. I do feel like this person that you're dealing with here if this is them is a father type of figure or a mother type of figure meaning that they're very nurturing they like to take care of everything meaning that they like to be the breadwinner they like to be in control they, they're like the head of the family whether it's female or male it doesn't matter this person likes to be head of the family here likes to take care of everything they're looking at you for long term here Okay, but they're also looking at you like you're at the end of your rope here, that you've got your sword up. Okay, I feel like this is somebody that's a planner here. Okay, this is somebody that likes their ducks in a row, but they also move extremely slow. And here's this offer, you know, this beautiful love here that's overflowing. But I feel if you're dealing with an emperor here, this person's not going to outwardly show their feelings here. They're coming off as very cold and they feel like you've got your sword up as well. So they feel like you're pretty blocked off right now. And it may be because you're offering them your love and they're, they're not, you know, showing you the love back here. Or this is like, they see that you're at the end of the rope here and that you've got your sword up and you're kind of like feeling like this is the end of waiting for them like you're done they could be looking at you like you're done with them let's see what's going to happen in the future wow just as i said that the world came out completion this can represent either they want to come back around to you again and try again because they see that you're at the end of your rope here and they may want to travel towards you if you're at a distance here it could be dealing with a taurus aquarius scorpio or a leo here four of water I feel like they've refused your love or could not accept it in the past because they were focused on something they were dealing with in their life here. They had a lot on their plate. Like I said, a lot of fires everywhere. This is somebody that takes care of everybody and that's what they were doing. And I feel like they're not happy where they are, but they feel the need to go through this completion with the world card here. But again, it's coming to the end of a difficult cycle. A new beginning is coming. I feel like they may want to come back around again to you, but they may feel like now you're not going to see them or you're not going to listen to them. You're not going to entertain them. Yeah, okay, but they're still holding on to you here with the Four of Pentacles here. They're also not letting you know, I feel, how unhappy they are right now. Because this is somebody that likes to look like they're in control here. They don't look like to look like they're weak. This emperor is somebody that, again, likes, it's an owner of a business, a leader, head of a family here. It's like, I'm strong, I'm tough. And they're discontent right now they are because they're constantly having to put out all these little fires and take care of everybody that i feel it doesn't leave them enough time for much but they do feel a lot of love for you here they feel this connection 
but they're not able to embrace it right now, they feel, because of all these other responsibilities is what I'm getting here. They may come back around again here, though, with the world card here. Four of water, four of earth. It's like I'm holding on to you, but I also am holding on to my stability right now because this person has a lot of financial responsibilities this is somebody that owns a house possibly a business runs the business on their own a manager an owner a leader and it's not something they can just leave behind they're trying to hang on to their stability but they, they're also tired of it let's get your energy here for cancer please someone rising venus let me know how this resonates for you in the comment section I will be clarifying the present and the future in the extended. I won't go back to the past because we're not going there, right? We just want to concentrate on the present and the future. So we'll dig a lot deeper there. But I want to get your energy here and the rest of the energies. Also, I'm going to get some moon messages from your person, what they would like to say if they could to you here. What are the messages, please, here for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What are the messages, please? We're going to dig into June. And in the extended, I'll dig in July. Well, I always like to sneak peek a month in advance for those of you that are brand new. Okay, so we'll sneak peek into July and we're going to get the Tarot of Sexual Magic. We'll get the intimate messages. I'm going to ask spirit questions about your person. You know, like what are the blockages and what might they be hiding? We're just going to dig a lot deeper into their energy and focus on that as well as what the future looks like. Okay, wow. Double confirmation of the Ten of Pentacles here. So yeah, definitely. This is about commitment here. This is about stability you know, long term, building our resources, setting up for life here. You know, I've got a lot of history here. Um, I've been very settled here. It's kind of like I've achieved the ultimate. Okay, so, but it's like, I want something brand new. I'm ready to go for this new beginning. So this can represent that you want a new beginning. You're ready for something exciting here. You're looking for long term here. Uh, you just want to be happy and stable and settled here is what I'm getting for you, Cancer. This is what you're wanting. <laughs> you're wanting the passion here the excitement here you're ready to take new opportunities here you absolutely are and you're trying to have the strength to, to kind of endure here i've got aries here a leo here taurus capricorn virgo sagittarius yeah it's like i'm trying to kind of hold myself back here i want to take this leap of faith i feel like this is your person because it, it's it's coordinating with this energy here okay but flip it how you need to again it depends whose perspective who's watching this is like, I'm trying to hold myself back. I have this love, but I've also got all this financial responsibilities. I need to kind of pull my reins in here. I do want to take this leap of faith. I'm excited. I want to start this new beginning. I know it will be stable, but I can't do it right now because I'm holding on to a house, a home, something here going on. But they're not happy there, okay? Or you're not. Let's see what's going on. What's going on, please, with Cancer's person of interest for June 2021? What are the messages? What's going on with Cancer's person of interest? How are they feeling currently towards Cancer? What are the messages? What is going on in their energy that Cancer needs to be made aware of now or in the future? With whomever they're dealing with, what are the messages, please, for June 2021? For Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, what are the messages, please, angels and spirits? Wow. They want to have an, an offer to you that is solid, that's something you can depend on here. Or they're looking at you as wanting that. Stability, long term. It's like, I'm in this for the long haul. I need to offer something substantial. And I feel like it's because they know that you've got your sword up here and that you're at the end of your rope, I feel here. Because this is somebody who's been holding back. So something may happen in September here with that Ace of Cups with the uh, Fool card here. It's like, I want to take this leap. So maybe they can't take this leap until September. You know, a lot of um, world circumstances, obviously, there's a reason that we cannot travel with the World card here. There could be distance between you physically here. I feel there definitely is emotional here because of the Queen of Swords here. It's like, I've been hurt before. Don't mess with me, you know. Um, I feel like you're both trying to have a certain level of control here. 
but there's also this passion and this love between you or at least one of you for the other one of you is at the end of your rope here it's kind of like i'm i'm just got so much so much on my plate here there's too many cards Ooh, i did have a peek here though at the ace of cups came shining through again but there's still too many cards it's meant to come out again believe me it does <laughs> why is the page of pentacles here please for cancer's person of interest What's the significance, please, for Cancer's person of interest with the Page of Pentacles? I can feel them wanting to all flip out here. It's just amazing. As I was saying, see, I can feel that. Wow. Double confirmation now of the Queen of Pentacles. We've got the Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. So somebody may already be in a marriage and commitment here, wanting to leave and lay down that situation, come towards you and have a new commitment here is what I'm getting with the page of pentacles like let's move in together i can see long term with you i'm excited about this but right now i can't i have too many responsibilities i'm a boss a father a mother somebody that handles everything i can't do anything maybe till september here it's like this person's down to earth and they see you for the long haul here they see you as their queen of pentacles somebody they could have a long-term stable family home environment and they're trying to figure out what to do here could be a virgo here but this is somebody that is really thinking long and hard about where they've been where they want to go what they want to do how they want to do it this is a big thinker the emperor this is somebody that gets their ducks in a row here they don't just do things and you know they don't just fly off the handle and do things they've really take a long time to research to think to plan and uh, because this is somebody that, again, likes to have control of everything, uh, not in a bad way, not necessarily, but it's somebody that is a go-getter, but they don't like to make mistakes. So they've got to meticulously plan everything here. Whereas us water signs, and water sign too, for those of you that are brand new, is we kind of like, we go with our passion, our heart, our love, our soul, and we go after things and then we worry about all the specifics later because we'll just deal with it, right? But this is strong earth energy here with fire and air. So it's kind of like they're passion driven. They're a leader. They have love for you here, but they're also got this massive practical control side that tightens those reins in when they need to and controls the order in which they plan things so that because again this is somebody that doesn't like to make mistakes is what i'm getting here so before we do the mutual energies i want to get the moon messages so yeah your person loves you i see they have love here for you but they're holding back on it i, I feel like they're not telling you how they feel because this person does not want to appear weak this is somebody that if they don't if they let their emotions get involved that it will affect their progress. So they don't want to affect their progress. They're concentrating on this new beginning with you and holding back in order to achieve it here and not make any mistakes. They know if they let their emotions get into it, they're afraid they'll make a mistake here. Okay, so my karmic story is ending. So if your person's in a karmic relationship, again, flip it how you need to, that is ending. They're laying down that responsibility, but they're also having to plan the next move here in order to come towards you here. So again, I feel like this is somebody that could not accept your love uh, in the past and maybe in September they're hoping to come towards you or in the near future here. Wow, this could be your twin flame. Look at that. Ooh, this has been coming up a lot, Cancer for us water signs if i had only known then what i know now so i feel that they feel they've wasted a lot of time here okay but this is somebody again that was putting out little fires everywhere that handles everything for everybody here takes care of the family the home the business and i feel like they just weren't ready here they weren't expecting you uh, and they were in a marriage a commitment or committed to business family home here and now they're wishing they hadn't wasted so much time but it's they were this is somebody who's a business owner or a father or just again is just very much an emperor takes care of everybody and everything here so they weren't allowing their emotions to affect their stability okay is what i'm seeing here they're very this person's very much self-aware and self-controlled here what's going on for cancer please sun moon rising and venus please here between them and their person how are they mutually mirroring one another when it comes to their connection angels and spirits for june 2021 what are their hopes dreams wishes and fears this is the shacy prism tarot for those of you that are interested those are at shacy.com 
What are the mutual energies? I always get the mutual energies between you and whoever you're dealing with using them. Wow. See, they've been resisting. I can't make this up. Wow. Yeah, they've been holding on. Like I said, they're not telling you everything here because they want to stay in balance and stay focused here on their goal. New idea, creative new business. So this could be somebody, you and them, uh, for that matter, you know, it could be both of you again, one or the other, but it's like, I have this new business. I'm the emperor. I'm the boss. I have to get my ducks in a row. I need this to work. This is my financial stability. You know, I need to make this offer to cancer here. I can't come in without giving them something that's substantial or meaningful here. Um, so they're, they're going to try and figure out how to do this. Okay, they could have a lot of financial, again, responsibilities, be a father or a mother of a family, take care of everybody, and they feel like they just don't have enough here. So they're concentrating maybe on putting a new business idea together, or they've already in their own business, and that's something that they're heavily focused on. Okay, new love. There you go. So this is a new love. This is a new love coming in for you here. Or it's a new love, but you already kind of met them, but you never really got together. This is what I'm getting here. They want growth with you. You both want growth here. You're both feeling the love here. Okay. There's a lot of excitement I feel here between the two of you, but there's been resistance and I just feel like there's a lack of communication here right now because they know they can't get emotionally involved with you here because they're trying to concentrate what they're doing. So Spirit's saying you both need to meditate here in order to um, concentrate and get to this growth period between the two of you here. Okay, is what I'm getting. Let's go ahead and get a love compass guidance message for you. Then I'm going to go ahead and we're going to dig deeper into the extended. So I will concentrate again on July and I will focus on present future. We're going to find out what's going to happen after the hermit here, uh, where this new beginning is going to go, if there's going to be any action taken. I'm going to pull some more fortune messages as well. I'm also going to pull the masculine madness messages, get messages from the divine masculine. What are the messages here, please? Angels and spirit. Ooh, I love it when they flip like that. Divine intervention. Oh, there you go. Mm -hmm. You're being redirected from relationships and situations that no longer serve you. Any rejection you faced, see it as a redirection to something greater for you. Let go of the need to understand or make sense of it. Trust that things happen for a greater divine purpose. Everything's unfolding as it should. So this may have been divine intervention here. Not accepting this you know, love right now because it's the wrong timing here because your person was still in a karmic connection here and had responsibilities. This is a learning lesson for them here. You can't have what you want right now until you do this, 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 and this. And so I feel like, you know, spirit is saying this is a new connection, but it wasn't ready yet. And again, it's like, if I'd only known what I know now, like your person wasn't ready for you here. And they're realizing, I feel that they're not happy where they are, that they connected with you on a different level here and have a lot of love for you that they're trying not to show right now because they're just, it's, you know, they're getting the download from the universe that it's just not the right time. And twin flame connections are just that you're each other's half and you're learning lessons from each other here so they've had to learn self-control here i feel and you've had to learn patience here and sometimes we come together with our twin flame and sometimes we don't okay so this is very interesting we're going to dig a lot deeper and find out where this new beginning is going and the mutual energies as well. I'm gonna get some more moon messages and I'm also gonna get the island wellness messages as well. So Cancer, if this is where you leave me, I will see you next time. Don't forget, I'm gone the last week of this month here. I will return in June, which isn't that far away. I'm only gone for a week. So thank you so much for being here. Please don't forget to hit that like button. It helps others to hear these messages. We definitely need to help to learn each other, like lift each other up and give each other a positivity especially right now um, in these times that we've been going through, but things are getting better. So stay positive and healthy and safe. And for those of you seeing me next time, I will see you again in approximately a week. Stay happy, healthy, and safe. For those of you meeting me in the continuation that are brand new, I always pin the link again down below in the description box. There's a little arrow I believe you can press down there if you're not sure where to go here. Um, it's pretty, pretty simple, but it's also in the description area if you find that easier to find it there. Thanks so much. Take care, and I will see you all again soon. Namaste.